in this video we are going to discuss about the power dissipation in steel mass so on completion of this topic students will be able to build a low power consuming ICs and reduced power dissipation in SEMA circuit so in power dis uh, power dissipation uh, it is broadly classified into two types one is static power consumption uh, dissipation and dynamic power dissipation so in the case of static power dissipation this static power is the power consumed when there is no circuit arbitrary or you can say when the circuit is in quiescent mode so in the presence of supply voltage even if we uh, withdraw the clocks and don't change the inputs to circuits this circuit will still consume some power which we call it a static power consumption it is mainly due to leakage currents that flows when the transistor is in off state there are many types of leakage currents but um, this uh, this shows the only some common leakage uh, currents that is reverse bias leakage current flows only the junction diodes within the transistors are reverse biased similarly sub threshold leakage current flows from drain to source through the channel when vgs is very less than uh, vth that is vth is the threshold voltage so typically this um, uh, leakage power consumption is inversely proportional to the threshold voltage in the case of dynamic power dissipation this dynamic power is the power consumed when the circuit is in operation which means if you are applying some uh, voltage or applied clock and changing the inputs that time this power consumption this dynamic power dissipation is occurs so it is mainly due to the dynamic current such as capacitance currents and the short circuit currents so in switching a uh, power dissipation this is due to the charging and discharging of the total load which includes that output capacitors and other parasitic capacitors that is at a very high level we can say the switching power dissipation uh, which is equal to the uh, that is alpha into vdd so this occurs in the short circuit uh, power dissipation and also this uh, uh, this circuits that is uh, mainly this uh, static power in this uh, circuits very uh, switching power dissipation can be occurs in the much understandable way so in the static power dissipation here as the input changes slowly there will be a certain duration of the time for which some of the transistors in the pull up network and the pull down network are turned on simultaneously which forms a short circuit path from the vdd to the ground so if you are considering an inverter means if this um, if you are giving the time as t1 and t2 and between the t3 and t4 this both the transistor q1 and q2 are in the on state due to this input level so there will be a change or vtn and vtvh will be a threshold voltage which have the transistors respectively so here we can see the leakage current and the sub threshold current so in the case of the leakage current this pn junction reverse biased current and the typical value is temperature and it has the power dissipation of psl is equal to summation il vdd and in the case of the sub threshold current it is relatively high in the low current threshold devices and also uh, in the case of sub threshold current uh, here mainly this can be implemented by the vlsis that is can be reduces the power consumption and can enhance the overall efficiency of their design so mainly uh, this uh, occurs as the leakage current when the system is not powered or in, in the standby node various causes that can be contribute to this leakage currents as a sub threshold leakage diode leakage tunnel leakages and also gate leakages Mm, and in the sub threshold uh, leakage this can reduce the supply voltage by lowering the supply voltage effectively reduces the power consumption and also whenever we are reducing the supply voltage by a factor it can result in the four fold reduction in power consumption so it reduces the supply voltage and also impacts the performance which can be mitigated by scaling down the threshold voltage so analysis of the cmos uh, circuit power dissipation this power dissipation can be expressed as p is equal to p static plus p dynamic so power is equal to v into that is work, uh, voltage into current so vdd into i leakage plus vdd into i sub threshold plus vdd into i short circuit plus alpha into f into e dynamic where alpha is the switching probability or uh, activity uh, factor at the output node that is the average number of output switching events per clock cycle the dynamic energy consumed per output output switching event is defined as e dynamic is equal to idd vdd into dt 
so in the case of charging and discharging circuits whenever uh, in the first diagram shows the discharging inverter and the second uh, shows the charging uh, inverter so in the case of the discharging inverter this n mass will be turned on so p mass will be turned off in the case of the n mass is turned on the output will be from the ground so it uh, tends to discharge the inverter and in the case of the charging the inverter this output will be from the vdd so it charges to a value of vdd and in the power consumption of the dynamic dynamic power uh, dissipation happens during the logic uh, transition when logic gates uh, charge and discharge the load capacitance so it can result from the switching activities of this transistors and in the power uh, dissipation dynamic here uh, it can minimize the power dissipation with the low power and also it reduces the supply voltage physical capacitance and the design process so dynamic power con uh, consumption depends on the physical capacitance being switched so based on the reduced voltage this lowering capacitance can help to achieve the low power dissipation and uh, to design the process this involves in the optimization at various levels starting from the system and algorithmic levels so that is given in the form of the equation p value i value so first integrate it um, cp is equal to c1 divided by tp 0 to vdd vdd minus v into dvc so finally p dp equal to cl divided by 2p into vdd square so during discharging we know the n mass is turned on it is from the vdd from ground so the final equation is vdn is equal to cl divided by tp into vdd square divided by 2 Quiz questions on power consumption. Power dissipation is uh, directly proportional to the supply voltage, square of the supply voltage, square of C and square of input signal. Thank you.